rallying significantly <laughs> and only what a thousand points away from its all-time high here we go it's tuesday morning i can say that reliably yes, it's, it's still the morning okay it's kind of lunchtime for me but we're up 10 points in the very early going 15 points 16 points here we go ladies and gentlemen 17.5 is where we are first stock of the day to look at walmart the gigantic retailer Stock is up in the early going, a buck 45, still shy of $60 a share. They came in with good profits this morning. Mm. To discuss the opening of the market and where are we going, bring in Ashley Webster, Liz McDonald, Mike Murphy's here today, and so is my, uh, Todd Horowitz down there in Chicago. Mike, to you first. Walmart. Nice bounce today, but still shy of 60. Would you buy it? I would not buy it. Uh, Why? Walmart's bouncing today because they lowered their guidance a couple of weeks ago, Stuart. I think Walmart has one huge problem, and that's Amazon. Uh, Amazon oh. sales are growing a lot faster than Walmart's are. This is a good quarter on a very, look very, very, very... Look at that very, very, <laughs> You see that? A, wow. Absolutely. Oh, ouch, that one hurts. Yeah, you could write Amazon right under that chart. Okay. Uh, I, think, I think Walmart may have bigger problems. I wouldn't jump in here and buy it, especially as it's moving up. Liz, let me deal with... Uh, Home Depot for a second. I want to ask you about this retail ice age, but look at Home Depot. That stock is mm. up as well. Yeah. Three, nearly four dollars, three percent up. Same story, good sales, good profits. Now that, we've had analysts on this show saying, here comes a retail ice age. Mm. No? No, I, I, because what instead there is an inventory buildup. You saw mm -hmm. that at a number of ports. They're showing imports were slowing down at three major ports because there's an inventory buildup. What does that What's mean? What's that got to do with? Because they're, the, they're basically the goods, they, they overestimated you know, the, the consumer power Climate and change. warm weather. And cli yeah, right. But you know, here's, <laughs> we're going to see deeper discounts. That's what we're hearing from Wall Street. And it's going to be a big holiday shopping mm -hmm. season for discounted uh, goods at these retailers. All right, Todd Horowitz. Good profits and sales at Home Depot and Walmart. Are you using that as an economic indicator? Good morning, Stuart. No, I think that Walmart is having a little bit of rigor mortis, a little bit of a bouncer. I think it probably goes back lower. They have a lot of other problems that are hidden. Home Depot is just telling me that there's no housing. There's no new housing, so people are fixing up their old. And they do have a ton of supply, and there's going to be a huge discount quarter. Where are these companies going to make the margins? When it's all done, it comes down to money, and they're not making money when it comes down to it. And that's what I want to see is the real growth and the growth in the profit margins, which we're not seeing. Uh, you know, what I'm picking up from this conversation is discounts, deep discounts yeah, for the holiday. Yeah, right. which is not great for the retailers. To, to Liz's point, they've got to build up of inventory. Sure. They have to slash prices to get rid of it. But I, it's great no, for us, though. But don't forget terrorism, too. I hate to throw that in, but more people want to go online than go out into the crowds in the malls. Yeah, oh, that's, that's true. But I, but I think the retailers, they're really sharp people. They're smart about it. And I think that we're going to have a really decent holiday shopping season when you talk to the analysts on Wall Street. Oh, but, the sunny side up. Uh, Liz I go. agree. Uh, just on Home Depot, you know, it's really hard. We're, we're trying to find problems in the quarter, but the, these guys, to me, are hitting on all cylinders. The management really knows how to handle what's going on. And this speaks, it's more tailwinds for the overall market. Market, housing is strong. That, I'm not saying people are going out buying houses, but people are going out spending money on their houses. That's why Home Depot yeah. stock is sitting at all-time highs. But remember, yeah. they can't. Am, people don't go out exactly. onto Amazon to buy two by four. Exactly. So you, people are going into Home right. Depot. They're spending time That's there. True. They're spending money. Still the best name in retail, I think. You Home just Depot gave Amazon does. a new idea. Go into the Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're there, they're but it never caught up. The two by four market. That's right. Right. <laughs> I want to talk the overall market for a minute because the Dow is up again with 24 points higher, 200 points up yesterday. Todd, the market seems to be just shrugging off the terror attack in Paris and the aftermath thereof. Shrugging it off, Todd. I think, look, it was, very, it was a very easy tell. When you saw Friday, we had the, the big panic right at 415. By Sunday night, the panic had kind of worn off, and you saw the futures open much lower, but they came right to a spot, stopped on a dime, and by then they were off to the races rallying because the fear was gone, it has subsided, plus the fact that this opens the door for the Fed not to raise rates again. Oh. So what it's doing, it's, it's propelling the overall market, but it did come down to a reasonable level of support. 2,000 the S&P was a good spot to look to be a buyer, and we're getting a nice bounce off it. We get to 2080, you probably want to sell it again. It's, we're yeah. really pretty much range bound here. You might, the question that people always ask me is, the world's on fire and the stock market goes up. What's with that? Can you explain this? I can. I believe I can. I, was, yeah. I thought of you yesterday. 
yesterday, Stuart. So the, the market uh, <laughs> oil uh, on the on the heels of this news, oil is trading higher, and all of a sudden it goes lower. Market goes lower and follows it. When oil reversed course midday yesterday, that's when the market followed it higher. So as oil moved up over two percent on the day, the market rallied to new highs. I think if you watch oil here, I think with Putin very, getting very aggressive, uh, I think you're going to see the oil market move back up towards fifty dollars, and I think that's what's going to take us to new highs on the S and P. Really? So if really? oil goes back no, up towards no, 50 no. bucks a barrel, the stock market goes up some more. Todd, you're shaking your head. I can hear you <laughs> groaning. Uh, I mean, we, we might touch new highs, but we're going significantly lower here. If you look at the top 20 most widely held stocks, they're down a net of about 15% for the year, and that's what affects most Americans. We can talk about the Dow right now because there are certain stocks that are driving these numbers. But overall, most people hold part of the top 20 most widely held, the Apples, Walmarts, and those of the world. Ten are down over 20%, and there's a few of them that are up. Google being up 50 percent, but the overall picture yeah. is ugly, and it's getting uglier. Well, but we're three percent off our highs, so I, I think that that tells you that people can accept where the market is right now, and there is money on the sidelines no, that, to that, be put to that's work. That's a small quantity. That's not the overall people. That's five percent of the population is involved in that much of the market. The overall average investor is going to get walked down the primrose lane again and, and stuck to them <laughs> because they're involved in the WalMarts of the world. That's down thirty-seven percent. They're involved in all those widely held stocks that are okay. down tremendously. They're not involved in all these <laughs> okay. high flyers. Right, you know, Todd, <laughs> very passionate. Yes. We heard you. <laughs> all right. I want to look at some individual stocks specifically. Apple.